Good, you're here. We have much to discuss. After his visit to Dantooine, I know we're all uneasy about what Darth Malgus is planning. Master Nostaral and the others in Task Force Nova are doing all they can to dig up leads on what Malgus is after, but... Sad to say, it's slow going. Not the update I was hoping for, but not surprising. What else do we have? I think this is something you'll find intriguing. Okay, recording started. Date stamped. Encryption is working. There's a Shea Visla. I've got an update on my pursuit of Field Marshal Hedda Cole, responsible for attacking the Spirit of Vengeance too. I want to be clear. My only goal is finding this traitor. And I need the Alliance's help following up. I'm sure Hedda's group, the Hidden Chain, has established a permanent base. Location unknown. I need to know who is supplying her and how. I've included my findings in this transmission. Do this, and I owe you. At my end, I'm running down a slippery recruiter with links to Hedda. I have a local Dermanda and Meksha to thank for the lead. Tell the commander that Indigo is still a grubby Minoc. All right, I'm landing in a few minutes and need to go dark. This recruiter has led me on a real chase, and I won't let him escape again. Shay out. We've done some preliminary work with Shay's intel, but we need an asset on the ground. The closed nature of the Mandalorians makes gathering information challenging. Have we got someone in mind? Torian Kadera is on a mission with Ras Ordo, but there is another option, a Carvi Spa. No affiliation with other clans, in fact, no strong ties to any major faction, but a reputation for getting results. Thoughts? Sounds like she can do the job. Glad to hear it. I'll make the arrangements. Keep me updated. What else is on the agenda? That's all for now, Commander. I'll notify you if anything changes. Arsenthor? Zenith, it's been a long time. Admiral Ego said this was a debrief about the weapon ship and getting through. He didn't mention you. I wanted to be prepared for this conversation. So much has happened. So many years. Total calm silence. It's hard to explain. You don't have to. No, I should try. You deserve that. For years I thought you were dead. I've lost a lot of people in my life, but you... That was hard to accept. Then the rumors started that you were back. I didn't believe them. I, I couldn't. I tried sorting the good intel from the bad, but the rumors kept growing, getting out of hand. They said you were fighting entire armies, doing impossible things. It wasn't just me. My team stood beside me every step of the way, just like you did. Are these good people? Reliable? You can see for yourself. I'm still standing. Now, if you survive half the things I've heard about, they must be the very best. I was fortunate to find them. I think I see the Admiral's strategy. He was looking to recruit me to your cause, and he's leveraging our history. He never said as much to me, but... We could use you. We believe in the same things. I believe in keeping the people of Balmora free from the Sith. I respect what you and your people do. Facing down the Eternal Empire, fighting the right kind of battles. But you have Imperials in your ranks. And I can't work with them. Former Imperials. But I understand. And if there's the smallest chance you'd stay, we could accommodate you. Keep things separate. It's not easy, but... It's you asking. I'll set my past aside. I answer to you. Only you. Understood. I have one more question. A rumor that was hard to believe. I need to know the truth. What is it? Does the Emperor live on in you? After all these years, Zenith, do you still trust me? I do. The Emperor is dead. Whatever he was, it's gone now. 
My only regret is not being there to see him die. His empire took so much from me. Now, where can this old revolutionary stow his gear? <laughs> <laughs>